the magic. All right, here we go. Too late. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to open this one. Try and get the plastic fight, off of it. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, here we go. And do it. Here we go. Okay, so here is the second one. Now, uh, ready? Ready? obviously, ready? there was a frog in here, right? Boo! <laughs> <laughs> it was taint that box. <laughs> All right, so here's it's wrapped up poo poo. Cameo, look, it's a chocolate <laughs> frog. It's a froggy. They go get that one. They're gonna leaking the poo poo. And who was in this one? <laughs> yeah, who'd you get? We got Salazar Slytherin. Oh, the badass, the bad it's, guy. It's it's it's. So we got all the guys. Face? We got all the guy Saruman. wizards. Saruman. Yeah, we did not get the girl wizards. We did not get Rowena Ravenclaw. And we did not get Helga Hufflepuff. Go Saruman. Denied it. Go Saruman. So no golden ticket. <laughs> no golden ticket. <laughs> uh, wrong get franchise. Magical cards. <laughs> Now, if you're interested in how much these are, uh, wait a second. A lot. Guy with, are... guy with the camera real quick. Yeah. Uh, hold the camera where you can see his eyes real quick. Who's his? Yeah, put your hands up here. <laughs> put your hands on your side. Kilroy. <laughs> I don't get it. You're too young. <laughs> okay. And your weed doesn't work yet. Yes, it does. Right. So how much do these hunks of chocolate cost? Yeah. These are nine ninety nine. Ow. Damn. How many calories is in this? How many calories are in this one? You'll chuckle. That better not be hollow. Twenty per serving. Two hundred and twenty calories, and there are three point seven servings per. You're supposed to eat a third of that. That's probably hollow as well. No, no, feel that. This is solid chocolate. This is solid chocolate. If you took a crap like this, you'd lose a pound. This is solid. But anyway, so we got chocolate frogs, and we've got fudge flies, and we have a cauldron that Point can eat all by himself because it's 1,400 calories. And on top of it, we got official Harry po Potter's Arnold Palmer lemonade and iced tea. Oh. I didn't know he liked Arnold Palmer. Oh, only when they're alone. <laughs> but anyway, so figured people would get a kick out of seeing that kind of stuff. Those were cool. And oh. actually, the experience sounds cool. Uh, when does this thing officially open? It officially opens, I believe. Let me double check. I think it's the seventeenth, which is like next in, weekend. Then no, this 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 week. Oh, this week. Yeah, it's probably this week. Like Friday, I think. But we're Dang. looking it up. And today's the thirteenth. The so. other uh, interesting thing uh -huh. about this now, Disney Q lines are designed to tell you, oh, this particular ride is going to the wait for this line is. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we'll show this too. Yeah, we'll put that up front. Yeah, we'll, a, we'll need to put that on the up front camera. Yeah. Um, Disney queue lines are designed to say, oh, this ride has a five minute wait, there's a 15 minute wait, there's a 30 minute wait, there's an hour wait, there's a 90 minute wait. Right. This ride, no joke, uh -huh. has been designed to say that it has a six hour queue. Assholes. No, if they just anticipate it being that popular. It is designed with a sign that goes as high as a six hour wait. Why would you want to wait six hours to get on it? Um, I would honestly say this ride is worth it. Not six hours. Yeah, if you, you have to experience it. This ride is unlike anything I've ever ridden before. Um, it is amazing. And it's worth a really, really, really long wait. A lot of people would say, no, it can't be. You have to do it in order to say it. Because it was really, really cool. I want to go back. I just didn't want to wait in the line again. It sounds like it was fun. I wish I'd known about it. I'd have gone. Yeah, but it's designed that way. This area of, of Universal is going to make crap loads of money. It is designed, by design, going to make a lot of money. And it's so Is well it going to beat Disney then? Oh, uh, when it starts? Oh, yeah. When it starts, this thing, like I said, the, the, the Ollivander's Wand Shop, just because of the way they do the presentation... Uh -huh. has almost a guaranteed sale, minimum, one guaranteed sale in every single 20-person group that goes in there because of the way it's set up. I'm not going to tell you how it does it. Now, how, how much are the tickets to this thing going to be? Just it's the same ticket that you use to get to uh, Universal Studios, so it's like 69 or $89 for a ticket By the way, one day. goggles are kind of screwed up. Yeah, they're always screwed up. There, you can see they're my eyes now. up higher. <laughs> but, yeah, it's the same, like, ticket. You uh -huh. can do a one day or you can do a park hopper. And this is Yappy's living room. Yep. And that's Yappy's baseboard. And that's that's uh, that's the Chris Hansen camp. Oh, yes. That yes, is one is. of the collectible limited edition pins. Now, that's a griffin, right? That is a hippogriff. Which means that uh, Frisco bought it. Mm -hmm. Really? I know Frisco. That's if it's a griffin, he bought it. It's Buckbeak. And actually, if you ride the Griffin ride, uh -huh. there is an animatronic Buckbeak sitting there when you get ready to ride the ride. It just kind of looks at you and nods at you. And it's really cute and really cool. Well, it sounds like it's going to be something that people need to see when they come down to go to Megaplex. I think so. 
Don't you love how I segue into that? Megaplex. Megaplex. You know, it's this kind in Orlando. Mm hmm. Really? Which? Tell us more. Oh, well, this year we've got this guy. A DVD? Ooh, he's on the DVD. Yes, he's in this little box. Pop it open. I want to see him. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we have uh, Paul Zaloom, also known as Beekman of Beekman's World. And Saved on shipping. We've <laughs> got a pretty good <laughs> idea of. God darn, that's a big frog. Matt, look at that froggy. And look, his butt melted. Well, <laughs> I did not want to know that. Start eating it there. Yeah, I guess buying chocolate in a 100 degree day is kind yeah. of a bad Here, idea. Here, look. There's the, there's the chocolate frog open. You can see there's his melted butt. You can right only there. eat his butt. It's one serving. <laughs> As it should be. I will take <laughs> his left leg. I'll dibs on the testicle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wish boning him? Are you yeah. sure they're die frogs? <laughs> whoever gets up, whoever gets the... the <laughs> Never mind. Well, it doesn't taste like pickles, so it's a guy frog. <laughs> How do you know? I taste the frog. Oh, okay. <laughs> KP licked the toad. <laughs> you seen colors? Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. I think he's having fun. <laughs> For nine dollars, that 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 chocolate better like excite you. They better be a frog <laughs> made out of shaka cola. <laughs> oh. I only got one thing to say about this chocolate. It's got magic. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Is it is it actually good chocolate? Wee! <laughs> Ouch! So you did a header on the Yay! Stage. Chocolate! You're gonna hurt yourself. No. If I was gonna hurt myself, I'd do something like this. High point! Uh, yeah. That didn't work. No, it did. I smacked no, him. Didn't. Right in the head. Give me my goggles back! Thief! Fail. I was prepared. Oh, I'm Elton John! I'm playing at Rush Limbaugh's party, even though he hit dog out of here. Yeah, I find that funny that, uh, actually, that <laughs> Elton John was playing Rush Limbaugh's Well, you know wedding. why he did it, right? Nope. That cool million. Right. <laughs> I'm not done sucking yet. <laughs> uh, hey, there's okay. a quote for the night. <laughs> you are Elton. Which one? <laughs> it's purple. Put your pants back on. <laughs> there's quote number two for the night. I was sucking my otter pop. Is that what they call it? I thought yours was a fox. A fox pop? <laughs> no, they're cold. They're otter pops. <laughs> wow. So that's what you call yours cold? <laughs> okay. I think it's the last piece of the Otter pops are good in the summer. They're nice and well, cheap. and probably put it back put it <laughs> in the fridge. I was thinking about getting some. Are you melting those. frogs back there? No. Yeah, you might want to. He's shoving the frog in his face. Mm hmm it's, it's got to be eaten before it even gets to the He's fridge. He's engorging the frog. By who? He's eating it himself, and yeah, I hear him nodding. No, he just finished two bites. <laughs> he just finished two bites of the second frog. <laughs> he just finished two bites, and that frog will never have kids again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just neutered him. Mm -mm -mm. Hi. That is some good $9 chocolate. That is some good frog balls. Frog legs are usually French, not Otter or Hogworth. Huh? Where's the other box? <laughs> oh, it's up, up on the Oh, here it is. Oh. That's my other froggy. Yeah, you might want to put them said? in the fridge for the trip home. No, no, no. Get him nice and hard. Why, you like hard frogs? That's what she said. <laughs> I just rubbing him would do that. <laughs> no, they're opposite. You rub them, they kind of ooze. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are you talking ducus. about? <laughs> talking about rubbing frogs. Ew. <laughs> you rub two uh, frogs together, you get Harvey Firestein. No. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Uh-oh, virgin alert. We've got a virgin in channel. Someone whose name Kale is watching and on chat, and he's the first time he's ever watched the show before. And in real life, Kale is a priest. Kale is a dragon. I thought. Wait, no. I'm not gonna say it. Say no, it. Go ahead. No, no, no. We have no control valve on this show. <laughs> That's song for our virgins. Oh God, you made this in the view. I made it to uh, oh God. <laughs> Who remade this? It sounds like Aqua Singing Country. Or like Gwen Stefani. This is horrible. <laughs> For our virgins. I eat beans. Play the original. <laughs> Don't play this crappy one. This is what Rod Stewart would sound like. You made, you made, oh, man, Jared, did you. No, I did not. You made Point Stink hey, again. Hey, Point? Yes. Just listen to the words. I know the words by heart. I'm a vegan. Hey, 